Dearly beloved, Jesus Christ loves you a lot. That is why he speaks with you through this program every day. And what does the Lord want to speak today? I have a few verses in the Bible that I like a lot. One of those verses I will tell you. It is not only my favorite verse. I will often pray with this verse. The Lord wants to speak with you through that verse. And that is Acts chapter 13 and verse 22. I have found David, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will. The Lord says that David was a man after his own heart. A man after my own heart. Isn't it such a great privilege and such a great God who is not contained by the heavens when he speaks about a man called David. He is a man after my own heart. When he says this, he feels happy in his heart. Do you know why he is a man after my heart? Because he will do all my will. Whatever I like, he will do. He will do all that I desire. He will ask me and do. The Lord testifies so. I will pray with this verse very often. Many times I have prayed with tears. Give me that grace. Lord, give me the grace to be a man after your own heart. I have committed myself saying, I should do only your will. I should ask you and act. That is why in everything I do, I will make it known to the Lord God. I will learn his will and do it. The Lord desires that we all form this habit in the year 1979. Not a year had passed since I started my ministry. At that time, Brother D.G.S. Dinagaran, a man of God, I had the privilege of meeting and speaking with him in person. I had written a letter to him and to my surprise, immediately, he sent for me saying, Brother, come, I want to meet you. I had gone to the Jesus Calls office in Chennai. We sat and spoke for very long. What ministry are you doing? He asked about my experiences. After I said everything, they asked me to pray for him. I was very confused. I went to him for prayer, but he asked me to pray for him. I prayed with fear and trembling. Then when I was leaving, I asked one thing. Dear brother, now only I have come into ministry. Please give me one piece of advice. He looked at me, smiled and said, Brother, regardless of whether it is a small thing or a big thing, ask the Lord and do as Jesus says. And those words firmly engraved in my mind. He said it in the year 1979. The Holy Spirit engraved it deeply in my heart. So whatever the matter is, I ask the Lord and then only I do it. That is what David did. Should I go to war or not? If I go to war, will you give me victory? Shall I do this or not? As David had the habit of asking and doing things, God testifies as a man after my own heart. Even you develop the habit of asking the Lord, Lord, shall I do this or not? What should I do in this matter? What do you desire that I make my children study? How do you want me to deal with this? Shall I buy this or not? Try praying to the Lord. We are thinking prayer is asking the Lord, give me this, give me that. That is one part of prayer. Another is there inquiring of the Lord, receiving counsel, learning the will of Lord God. Because David functioned like this, the Lord rejoiced. My dearly beloved, going forward, you also maintain a prayer diary. I do that. I write any small or big thing in it and pray about it. Lord, what should I do about this? How should I? Sometimes the answer will come in one day. Sometimes the answer will not come in one day. After four days, one week, even after a month, he will answer. We need to be patient until then. We shouldn't hasten and do as we please. If you create a spiritual life like this, your life will be good. You will be happy. The happiness of living close to Jesus, living a life that pleases him, even if small mistake happens, God will point them out, correct them and lead us wonderfully. He is a wonderful God.
So habituate speaking with the Lord God like David to be a man after his heart. Do you desire it? Do you desire to be a man after the Lord's heart? Firstly, you must desire. Secondly, you should pray. God will give that grace. If you desire, place your hand on your heart. Dear Lord, like David, I also want to be a man of women after your heart. I should only do your will. Give me that grace, dear Lord. I commit myself in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.